Good morning. Welcome to Paula's Pantry Post. <sighs> okay, yeah. I'm wearing my work shirt. It says got mold. Because that's what we do for my job. So just, if you have a mold problem, you can call us. But otherwise, here's what I want to talk about today. So, um, I'm 100% Italian. I've shared that before. And my mom passed away last year. And about six months before my mom died, my grandmother died. It was a rough year. And I mention that because there are things I did not learn before either of them passed away. So after they each passed, I have been um, collecting things, if you will, uh, as things get divvied up. And uh, some of the things that I took home that I wanted to have, one of them is this. And this is a Pizzelli maker. Pizzelli are a, well, they're not just an Italian cookie. Woo! Don't get your hands stuck in there. Um, so this is the maker, the cookie maker for the Pizzelli cookies, um, which my grandmother used to make. Didn't learn how to make them from her before she passed away. That would have been great because I love them a lot. Also, in this little container, I have a, this is for the Bocanotti, which again is another kind of Italian cookie. They're filled with jam. And they're these little, I, I have all the forms for them. And these are all the different shaped forms um, that you, you use to make the cookies and then you fill them with jam. But I don't know how to do that because I never learned. I never sat down with my grandmother or even my mom. My mom used to sit down with some of her aunts and, um, you know, her mom when it was time. Because usually these are made at Christmas time. They're like a Christmas type, type of cookie. But I never learned. And here's what I want to share with you this morning. Take the time to sit down with the people in your life that know how to do things before they're gone. Whether it is cooking, how to make cookies, how to make bread, perhaps there's a dish that you really, really like that your mom or your grandmother or your grandfather or your dad, whoever, always make and you love it and they're known for that and you really, really like it. Take the time to learn how. Perhaps like in our family, there's like certain meats, cured meats, like supersata and uh, even cow's tongue. There's this cow's tongue. It's really, really good. Uh, fajoy. I never learned how to make fajoy before my mom passed. Um, so if there's things that you just really love that are kind of part of your family maybe it's some other kind of cool skill maybe there's a certain way i don't know you get the drift take the time make the effort go visit those people take a weekend invite those people to your house i mean maybe now it's a little bit hard with covid so you have to kind of wait until that's done but make the plan now make the plan to get together and learn how even if you're not good at it at first, at least sit down, write out the instructions, learn how so that you have a place to start. So that once they're gone one day, you can still have those things that you enjoy. Because now I have to figure out how to do this stuff on my own. There might be some YouTube videos out there. Otherwise, I'm going to have to find the recipes and stumble through it. Because it's something that I really enjoyed and I liked. And I would like my kids to still be able to enjoy this. I would like to be able to pass it on. Some of the things that my mom made and cooked, I did learn before she passed away so that I can still do them. They don't taste exactly the same as hers, but they're pretty close. So take the time, learn from the generation above you. Learn from the generation above you so that you can carry it on. You'll thank me later. Have a good one.